3D textures got a whole lot easier in Unreal Engine's 5.4 motion design. In this video, I will go over how to create text and animate it. To get started, hop over to motion design mode, go to actors, hit text actor, and add it to your scene. Now let's center this. And under text here, you, this is where you'll type your title or whatever sort of text you'd like to use. Now let's say we want to make this all capital letters, which I do. I can check on this in force uppercase letters. And now they're all uppercase, which is great. Now, this is where we can change the font. I'm going to be using this Batman Forever alternate, which I found on defonts.com. It's a really good font website that, that shows fonts and different themes as well as categories. I found this one under sci-fi and I think it looks really cool. So under layout here, we can change the alignment. I'm going to center it. That way when I do the kerning, it comes from the center opposed to the sides. And then there's also word spacing if you want the words to be farther apart. Now for line spacing, you need two lines for that. So for motion design, if you want two lines, you can't just hit enter. You have to hit shift and then enter. And then I'm going to get rid of that space that's up here so that it's centered. <laughs> and now when I do line spacing, the design will drop lower to create more space. And for geometry, there's extrude, which is really great. We can make the text 3D. And I'll be animating this in a little bit. There's also bevel, which makes the sharp edges more round. There's a list of different options for that as well. I'll also be playing with bevel when I, once I start animating. Now, this is where you can start playing with the materials. This is It starts off with a basic emissive material, and you can choose gradient, which I think is pretty cool. So if I choose two colors here, and then I can play with the smoothness to make the gradient more gradual, and I can make it horizontal. You can also play with the offset. And this can all be animated, which is really cool. If you go to custom, you can rotate it too. I think it'd be fun to animate it rotating 360. But now I'll be adding my own material. So I found this iron and pixel bridge. And with that selected, I can go back here and do custom material and hit this button to drop it in. Now it also adds it to front, bevel, extrude, and back, which is kind of nice. But it's not emissive anymore, so we need to add a light to our scene. I'm going to be using a rectangular light. Go ahead and zero it out. Then we can push it back so now we can see our material. I'm going to increase the width a little bit. And I'm going to drag it down slightly. I'm going to make the intensity 1000. Drag it down a little bit more. And I'm going to make the color something more vibrant. I think that's good. And so now, I'm ready to start animating this, so I'm going to add a camera to our scene. I'm going to drag the camera in here. And by the way, I'm using default viewport. The motion design viewport changes up the hotkeys, and I like using my hotkeys, so I'm just keeping it at default. So now I like this end position. I'm going to move back just a little bit because I'll be playing with the turning. So back here, if I key the transform, and now if I move around and I go back, it'll give me the frame that I wanted, which is nice. So now let's go ahead and start animating the text. So to start, I'm going to be playing with the kerning. So on frame zero, let's go ahead and make this 25 and then hit a key. And then kind of before the end, I'm going to make it just five, key it again. And now we can see motion taking place, which is great. But I kind of want to change up the curve, so go ahead and select the keys and hit this button to pull up the curve editor. And then we can select this down here and it'll give us the options. Now I want it to speed and then ease, so by pushing this down, we speed up it going in and then it slowly comes together here. So now when I hit play, we'll see it coming together faster with an easing at the end, which is great. And so now we can play with the extrude level. So in the beginning, I'm going to make it really big. I'm going to make it 3000. I'm going to key that. And then at the end, right before the end, I'm going to make it 25. And I'm going to add another light here so that we can see the extrusion all the way in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this light and rotate it 180 degrees. 
Let's go ahead and push it back. I'm gonna push it back to 6,000 because I'll also be animating the text back. So we're gonna need to increase this attenuum radius. And let's go ahead and increase this height too, as well as the width to kind of just make it more seen on the edges of the extrusion. Let's make the intensity a little bit more. We're gonna make it one, two, five. Oh, that's nice. And so now when I hit play, you can see the extrusion coming to us better. And so another thing I want to play with is this bevel here. Let's go ahead and make the bevel a little bit bigger and then change the bevel material. I made an emission material, so I'm going to add that. And let's go ahead and animate this. So in the beginning, oh, also, you need to key this in order for it to work in the renderer. If you don't, then it'll just render out as the middle material. So make sure you add a key so that it's in the sequencer. And now let's go ahead and play with the bevel level. So in the start, I'm going to have it start at zero. Go ahead and key it. And at the end, I'm going to have it end at 1.5 key. And in the middle, I'm going to make it two. So it kind of goes big. Two, not five. And then in the middle here, I'm gonna make it 0.5. So then it kind of flickers from big, so then it kind of twinkles, which I think is a cool effect. So we'll go big, little, big. Now this is still at five, isn't it? Yes. So I'm gonna do two and make sure that that is keyed. So if I play it again, nice. Yeah. Another effect that I can do is add a transform to the text and I'm going to have it shoot forward. So I want it to end here so I can go ahead and make the, or actually I want it to end a little bit before the extrude ends. So there's a little bit of overlap. So it kind of comes to a stop and then the extrude follows a little bit afterwards. So I'm going to make a key here and then go back to frame one and I'm going to push this guy back 3000. 3000 and go ahead and key that here now we need to increase our attenuate attenuation radius here so that we can see it farther back and let's go ahead and play with this key as well so if i open up my curve editor again let's go to location i want it to go fast and then ease so i'm going to play with this one down here and so now when i hit play we have the effect I'm looking for. And yeah, that's the tutorial. I hope this was a good introduction to text. There's definitely a lot more that you can do, but I think this is a good intro to get you started. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe. That would help me a lot. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.